It's a mole snake, by the way. He knows I'm here. And he's just, he saw my movement, so he's just a bit unsure at the moment. He's just checking what's going on. I followed him for a while now, going from, um, from hole to hole, and he sticks his head in, pulls out again, goes to the next hole. Quite interesting. Yeah, now he knows I'm here. Probably used to people, he's not really, he's not really trying to flee or anything, he's just called up the ball, he hissed a little bit at me now. But that's it. Let's see if I can get a nice close-up. There we go. So that's typical of what they'll do, they'll hiss like that to scare you off. Uh, mole snakes do have a pretty bad bite, you don't want to be bitten by one of these. Um, an adult one like this, a bite from an adult one like this may result in stitches. Um, so I'm not going to touch it, I don't have a snake hook with me or anything. Just busy taking some video and I want to see what it does. <laughs> Lots of cyclists going by, everyone just looks at me, they don't see the snake. <laughs> if you look at the bits of his, of his uh, skin, of his scales there that are in the sunlight, you'll see they reflect the light quite a lot. Um, mole snakes have smooth scales. Uh, some other snakes like Boomslang and Rinkholz and so on, uh, egg eaters, they've got keeled scales, which means there's a, there's a ridge down the middle of the scale, so it's kind of rough. It doesn't really reflect the light as much as this one does. But on this one you can see because of the smooth scales it reflects the light a lot. Okay, let's see where he's planning to go now. He's very relaxed at the moment. He doesn't sense a threat or anything. Else he would be moving a lot faster. Okay, so he made it across the tower this time. There he saw my movement. You see how quickly he moved then? That's when they get panicky, they do that. Okay, so he's just gonna move up there. 